What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success. And in this video right now, what I want to talk about is the importance of planning ahead inside of your clothing brand. Whether you haven't even launched yet, you're thinking about launching in the future, or whether you're already launched, you're already off to the races, and you're thinking about coming out with new product releases, or just reaching goals on say social media and on Instagram, I wanna talk about how to plan ahead for these things, how long you should be planning in advance, and that's what this topic's all about. Let's do it. All right, so if you haven't heard already, I've announced a contest where the winner will receive a free clothing brand review from me. And on this channel, I talk a lot about the importance of being different, standing out amongst the crowd. The contest is to see who of all of you has the most different, the most unique clothing brand that just blows me away by how different your clothing brand is, okay? To enter the contest, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to www.apparelsuccess.com, fill in the contest form, and I'll be announcing the winner on January 1st, all right? Good luck. All right, let's talk about planning ahead inside of your clothing brand. With K-Bud Apparel, my clothing brand, we decided to come out with six new products for this fall, the one that we just passed, okay? And we decided to come out with three new hoodies, a flannel, and two toques, okay? In order for us to actually do this and execute this well for our clothing brand so that it was a successful launch, one that we actually end up making a lot of sales, or we're really, really happy with our products and everything is launched in a nice, spectacular way for our clothing brand, we were already thinking about these products and designing these products and making these products since May, okay? So we ended up launching mid-September and in May we were already working on the designs and in June we were already getting fo going forward with production and actually building these products so that when September came, we weren't freaking out to launch for the beginning of the season and potentially missing that big opportunity at the very beginning of a season to actually get the most amount of sales. As a general rule of thumb, you want to be working a full season ahead of your launch, okay? So right now it's December, we're already planning for our spring launch that's going to be happening in April. Okay, so we're already building up our hats. We're thinking about the designs that we wanna put on our tanks and on our t-shirts. And the reason that I know this is because of so many seasons that we've gone through now where we just wait till the end, okay? And we just wait till the end and then we're rushing around. We don't have our products ready or you know, we've only, we only gave ourselves a month to produce everything and we're freaking out because you know, we're gonna miss half of spring if we end up launching in the middle of spring when we could have launched at the beginning of spring, okay? So I'm just showing you this, telling you this so that you can, you know, not make the same mistakes that I did and sort of shortcut your way to success because I think that if we'd launched appropriately during all of those seasons from the second we started, we'd probably be doing a lot better than we are now. At the same time, you know, for the past couple seasons, we've been doing really, really well with this, okay? Planning really, really far in advance we've learned from our mistakes, okay? Now this seems like such a normal topic to talk about and such a normal concept to explain to you, plan ahead, you know, be thinking ahead, but this actually goes a lot deeper in terms of your own psychology and actually making this work in your life in terms of becoming successful, okay? There's a difference between immediate gratification and long-term growth, okay? And this is a really important lesson in terms of becoming a successful entrepreneur and actually getting results in the future, okay? So immediate gratification is basically like you know, the, the highest extent of immediate gratification is like doing heroin. And anything that immediately gratifies you to a really, really good extent where you feel amazing in the moment is really, really likely to be detrimental in the future, okay? So eating really bad food tastes really, really good. You get that McDonald's every day in your belly, it feels great, but over time you become fatter, okay? You do the heroin, over time you become depressed and you end up losing your mind and going crazy and withdrawing, right? Whereas if you actually willingly put yourself through pain in the moment and force yourself to grow in the moment and do things that don't necessarily make you feel, you know, immediately gratified, but you're putting in that work in advance for delayed gratification later, those are the things that actually end up getting you results in the future, okay? So planning ahead, putting in all of the work up front, you know that if you just work, you know, for five months ahead on these amazing products, in five months time, maybe not right now, 
you'll finally be gratified from all of that work that you do. What I'm saying is that immediate gratification is where you're very results oriented. When we were coming out with our product launches and you know we were only doing it within the same month that we wanted to launch our products, it's because we were waiting around, waiting around, oh, well, we want some results, we want to launch new products, so let's do it now, right? Instead of thinking ahead and actually putting in the work and doing the process, okay? So immediate gratification is very results oriented and long-term growth is very process oriented where you're actually focusing on the process of what you need to do, taking right action every single day and over time the results will accumulate in such a bigger way than if you were just focused on immediate gratification all the time, okay? So the way to actually thrive, to actually get to the point where you're doing very well in life, in success, and with your clothing brand, is to actually focus on that process. Don't worry about being immediately gratified in the moment. You may not be making any sales now, but if you keep putting in the work right now, you keep drilling into that process over time, you know, in six to 12 months, all of a sudden those results will come. They'll, it, all the work will pay off. All right, I hope you like this video here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I wanna tell you about our closed Facebook group that we have going on for apparel success. There's a link in the description below. Follow that link, join us in the Facebook group. We're a bunch of clothing brand owners all in there to support each other and answer each other's questions. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Peace.